Two students in Howard City are suing their school district after they say staff asked them to remove anti Joe Biden sweatshirts. Our Lauren Edwards has been digging into this. She joins us in the control room with more. Lauren. Jamie, Max, we have spent most of today just digging through the 71 pages of that lawsuit, reaching out to the school district, reaching out to multiple attorneys, and we get a, did get a chance to speak with the attorney who is representing the students, and he says basically his client's civil rights were violated. Students have every right to wear LGBT attire to school, just as our clients have every right to wear Let's Go Brandon attire to school. The problem here isn't with the message. The issue is how the two tri-county area school students were treated, says their attorney, Connor Fitzpatrick. The problem here is that the school district is trying to pick and choose which messages students are allowed to express when they come to school. And that's something the First Amendment simply does not permit. Tuesday, the students whom are minors and are identified only by initials filed a lawsuit against the school, citing a few incidents in spring 2022. Last school year, our two students arrived at school wearing their Let's Go Brandon sweatshirts. They weren't causing a disturbance. They weren't causing a ruckus. They were simply wearing their Let's Go Brandon sweatshirts, intending to express their disapproval of President Biden. The lawsuit states that during a field day in June 2022, the school, quote, permitted students to wear LGBTQ plus pride flags, but ordered students to remove Trump flags. Last year, the students represented by council wrote a letter to the school district asking them to lift this ban on Let's Go Brandon attire. Fitzpatrick says the school didn't, and the decision violated the students' First Amendment rights and civil rights. So Tuesday, the students filed a lawsuit against the district, the middle school's assistant principal, and a middle school teacher. Fitzpatrick claims that the school believes the shirts are profane and that the students did not violate the dress code. There are not any swear words in Let's Go Brandon. There's not any vulgarity. There's certainly not any obscenity. What the school district is saying is that because you're using a slogan that might make people think about a swear word, that means we can ban it as if it is a swear word. Fox 17 reached out to the district and they said via email, quote, the district was made aware of the complaint this morning. However, has no comment at this time regarding pending litigation or matters that involve students of the district due to federal privacy laws and board policy. Fitzpatrick says regardless, the students should be allowed to express themselves politically. So we should encourage kids expressing themselves, starting discussions with their friends, with their classmates, and if disagreements come up, all for the better. As long as it remains non-disruptive, we should be encouraging students to interact with other views as opposed to just interacting with views that they already agree with. So if you would like a good look at that lawsuit, you could head to fox17online.com or click on our mobile app. Reporting live here in the control room, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.